Welcome back to the channel. For those of you new, I'm Jeanette from Body Plus Sewing and Crafts. This video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be actually showing the actual process in the making. Okay, so let's go over how I have the room. Now, I know it's a little bit noisy, so I'm going to try to talk as loud as I possibly can above the noise of the embroidery machines. Okay, so let me show you guys exactly how I do this. So first of all, I have my hooping station set up right here. As you can see, like ye yesterday at the live, I said I like to hoop four shirts at a time for two machines. Right now, I have two shirts that are embroidering, okay? They're in the process of embroidering I have them here. And then if you go over to my cutting table, I have two shirts that are already pre-hooped and ready to take the place of those shirts when they are done. I got my stabilizer right in front of me. Okay, I, two, I use two sheets per shirt. I got my hooping station all prepared for the actual placement of where the logo is going to go. Right here next to it is a box of all my blanks. As you can see, it's on the chair right next to it. And then I have a little bag over here where I keep all of the um, garbage, all the extra stabilizer that I cut out. I put it in that um, plastic bag that you see right here, okay? And then, just in case you don't see it, right here is where I have my wrapping. As I go ahead and I fold the shirt, I pile them on here, and eventually this box will get empty. I will take these, place them neatly in here. So, you, you know, always it's a process, okay? It is, it's just a process and stuff. So this is really how I fold all of my shirts for the customer in its own individual plastic bag. Okay, I try to fold it as neatly as I possibly can. And then I just keep them in a stack and I put them neatly in the box. Okay, so this is how I do it. Okay, as each machine is done with the embroidery, I take um, one that I already have hooped and I replace it and hit that start button. That way I can just keep the machines going and the machines are not stopping. There's no pausing. While the machines are in bordering, if I have, I go ahead in here and then I re-hoop a new shirt and I also um, cut the stabilizer of the shirt that's done in bordering, fold it, package it up in the plastic, and then put it over there with the rest of them. So it's a pretty neat um, process that I have going on. You know, it's kind of like very repetitive, but as you can see, and I'm gonna move back, you're gonna notice that the area is very clean where I work. One of the things that I like about this is that customers can sh show up anytime they want, and they're gonna see how their items are being treated. Nothing is on the floor, as you can see. I'm not stepping on anything and stuff and everything is neat in its place another thing that i do that is very very helpful is i have this little cart right here this is where i keep all my scissors everything that i need for embroidering even like the threader okay so that way and the scissors that i use to cut the stabilizer behind brush okay i also have like a little box that by my embroidery machine. This was something that I just made on my own. As you can see, right here is where I put scissors that I usually use. I use another threader right here, okay? So what it is is I use double-sided um, tape, and this was an iPhone box. So you can get like a little plastic thing, put double-sided tape on there, and then just uh, Hold it on there so that way you have this in place and you can put the items that you use all the time right there next to it. So it's, it's pretty neat and it's very convenient, okay? Another thing that I usually have that makes it really easy is I bought these little magnetic hoops, okay, that kind of like stick to the side of my stand. And what I was able to do is buy these small little and what I like about it is I just like place it right on here. So if I have any threads and stuff that I cut, I can easily just put it in the basket and it's not a problem. 
you know, I mean, I'm not throwing thread on the floor, even though I do vacuum every day when I close the shop, because sometimes you can have something that accidentally falls on the floor, and I like my floor to be clean. Okay, so I know the, um, the outside, because I have these by the window, but as you can see, they're embroidering very nicely. Okay, and I have the machines running at 600 stitches per minute. I'm not in a hurry. I take my time. I don't rush or anything like that. I'm not, I'm not one for that. If I feel like I have to rush a bulk order, I will not take the order. For the simple fact that that's where mistakes happen. So I like this process because it's very, very easy. Um, it's repetitive and it's smooth. So I don't lose anything that I need. I always find everything um, convenient. It's um, you know very easy to work with. So it's something that that I like. It's very routine. Um, it's kind of like what what you guys were saying yesterday at the live. It's like having an assembly line. So it works for me. Um, yeah. So I kind of like it and stuff. I just usually use this, and it's uh, simple, clean. And even when I have someone help me do embroidery. Um, it's easy for them to follow because th I'm not walking all over the room for something. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. So anyway, so I'm going to keep on working. You guys are welcome to continue to watch the video if you want. Um, but I just really wanted to share with you how I actually do this. This is going to be 26 shirts for a company. Um, yeah, so, you know, hope you guys enjoy. Um, I'll put some music on for you guys to see and I'm going to try to put this camera somewhere where you can see the whole room as to where I walk around and what I do and all that kind of stuff so that you guys can just enjoy it, okay? So, like I said, 26 shirts. Um, I don't know if I'll get them all done today. I might um, because I already got two done. I'm almost done with those, so that's four, four now, right? 22 to go. So it's, it's not bad. So I may end up having it done today. Okay? So enjoy. You might have a brother. It's not what it seems. Not talking relations. I'm talking about machines. For hobby or business, they work like a dream. Embroidery machines, they do it for me. I'd love a single needle, multi needle, yes, please. From 2 to 12 heads is what I need Want all the fret colors under the rainbow Embroidering sweet dreams for me and you Grab yourself a burrito Or a coma or a Melco Research before you buy And now you know Bags to towels, throw pills to teas Personalize it all with big smile and ease I'd love a single needle, multi-needle, yes please From two to twelve heads is what I need Want all the fret colors under the rainbow Embroidering sweet dreams for me and you Also Chukis, you know baby like can many more with embroidery machines dream store bringing ideas to life one stitch at a time creating art that's just so fine i'd love a single needle multi-needle yes please from two to twelve heads is what i need Want all the red colors under the rainbow embroidering sweet dreams for me Love a single needle, multi-needle, yes please From two to twelve heads is what I need Want all the fret colors under the rainbow Embroidering sweet dreams for me and you
Okay, guys, I am on my last shirt here. And I finished. All the machines are now shutting down. This is the last shirt of the pile. Um, just got to cut around the embroidery and package it up. And then deliver to the customer. So as I finish this, I want to show you the room, how it actually looks after everything is done. And why I kind of like the way I do things, okay? Um, I mean, this process kind of works for me, so it works pretty good. This is the last of the embroidery shirts. Just got to hold it up real nice and neat, as always. There you go. Something like this. There you go. This is the last one of all of them. So, I just want to show you at the end, after I finish doing all of the embroidery, the reason why I like doing the work the way that, I'm, that I do it, okay, is because everything stays nice and neat and intact. Okay, so let's take a look at how my sewing room looks after embroidering. So as you can see, this already got shut down. Um, this one, it's already done, okay? I just finished the last shirt, shutting it down right now. Um, I want you to pay attention to the cutting table. Nice, clean area, okay? And then look, all my garbage is in this little spot that I put right here. And then I just close this up. And then I just throw in the trash. And everything is nice and neat. This is my last thing. Everything's nice and neat. This is to throw out. Okay. And then the, sorry, then the customer's orders, this is how they get delivered to the customer. See? Nice and neat. All the shirts embroidered. Neatly packed, it's fine, okay? So I'll have my son deliver it to him. Um, he has all his shirts, nice packaged, okay? And um, I will add the invoice and my advertisement in here along with a card on how he needs to care for his items. So everything, is nice and ready to go so that is really the process on how i do things and as you can see my room stays nice and neat i don't have stuff all over the floor as you can see i have the box there um the garbage nice in one bag um yeah and everything is good to go and it makes it a lot easy and then i can just start the next um order that i have so guys, I hope you enjoyed this um, video. I'm gonna have to edit this down, you know, to make sure that um, you guys get everything. So as you can see, nice and clean, everything in its spot, okay? And that's how I like it. That's how I like working. I think it's nice, it's organized, and um, it's good because when you have customers come to visit you in your shop, they see you have a routine, you have a good process, and everything is nice and neat in your area and they really do like that they do appreciate it when they see that somebody takes the time to actually care for their items and they really love it if they get items that are delivered in this way i mean this is like really nice because it really says something about you and how you manage your business so anyway guys hope you enjoy this video if you do please give me a thumbs up if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing and i hope you enjoy me every um uh, friday eight o'clock eastern standard time when I host in Bordery Happy Hour, where I like to talk about different, um, 
you know, different topics regarding the world of embroidery, okay? Running a business, different types of techniques, where to buy blanks and all that good stuff. So I will talk to you guys later. You guys have a great one. Happy sewing and happy embroidering. Bye.